Chong TV. This is David Wood from Bag Up TV. Well done, Alan. Oh, looking good, Alan. Hi there, get ready for a cold spell lasting for at least a week or so with overnight sharp frosts, some icy stretches in the mornings and for some snowfall. But not... oh. Right, well, what a turn of events has happened in the fishing world really and it's uh, it's become ridiculously cold we've had a bit of a winter snap um, and it's frozen all the lakes up really round round our area and round South Yorkshire um, everywhere is frozen we've, we've had weather of minus six seven degrees i think at night even 10 degrees minus 10 degrees at night um and there's just been no chance of getting out there and fishing basically the um the guys at feeder masters put up lee Kerry, uh mick viles to say that they'd make a decision on wednesday and well today the 18th of december we should be fishing the third round of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs at Allcroft, but uh, like I said, the guys had made a decision on Wednesday to call it off, looking at the forecast and minus four in the evening, um, and not even getting to one degrees in the day, so they've called it off, uh, which is the best decision really. A lot of people traveling, 60 anglers traveling up to Allcroft, to uh, fish a feeder match and a lot of other competitions have been cancelled as well um the golden rod at lindome and stuff like that so it's just if it was a pole match it'd be quite easy to just go down just um you know clear a small space you know 10 11 meters out uh, and maybe fish for a few hours but obviously chucking a feeder you can't just un underarm it at four meters and um, you know, we want to be fishing uh, a proper match and what have you, and, and just the safety of the anglers, I suppose, as well. So, unfortunately, the third round of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs has been called off with me and Alan fishing it. Um, on the 18th of December, we would have been fishing today. Um, but it was ridiculously cold this morning, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a day off, um, do bits and bats of tackle and stuff like that. Um, and get ready for the, the new year, really. Unfortunately, the winter pairs haven't gone our way for the last couple of rounds. If you've been watching the last two videos, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have been doing, it hasn't gone our way, and we've dropped down now to 28th or 29th place in the league. So pretty much we're rock bottom and we need we need a hell of a comeback to uh, get us up into the top 10. Now, a few of you have been asking on there, why don't you chuck a method out, Dave, to the far bank, or why don't you sit and fish for carp and, and all this stuff, and why did you catch a carp and then only got four pound? Well, I probably didn't explain the rules very well, but it's, it's traditional uh, f uh, 
ground bait feeding basically you can use a you can use a maggot feed but it's traditional feeding so what that means is that you've got to have um a feeder a ground bait or a maggot feeder you can't fish a bomb either you've got to have a ground bait or a maggot feeder and then you've got to have a 50 centimeter um line from your from your feeder to the hook so it needs to be 50 50 centimeters i think it's 50 centimeters i'm sure it is um and you've got to fish conventional way of, of, of fishing, basically. So, and if you do catch a carp, it only counts as a pound in these in this competition, the Feeder Master Winter Pairs. So, it's it's predominantly basically a silverfish league. But if you do catch a carp, you're not you know you're not pulling for a break. And I think that's what they don't want is you pull for a break and then the carp's left with the hooking. Even though you're fishing barber hooks, still not nice doing that. So. What they did there was, if you did catch a carp, it would be a pound, which I think is a, a, a great idea. And on some pegs, you can target carp and have seven or eight carp for seven or eight pound and then catch a few silvers, you know what I mean? So I think it's a great idea. And I fished it for the last maybe three years now, three or four years, um, and I've done all right in the competition. Uh, I think I've come eighth twice in the competition out of the pairs. Um I won a round, I think I had £24 of bream, um, and then my partner had about £4, so I ended up winning one of the rounds as well, which were a great pick-up. Um, this were a few years ago, but this year we haven't done very well, so um, obviously I'm teaming up with Alan Norrish this year for another round of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs, and it got cancelled last year as well. I know that we cancelled one last year with the with the weather, so... It just is what it is. So I think it's over six rounds. So this will be one where no, nothing gets entered into the points or anything because we're not fishing, obviously. So it's just basically we've took a round off. It we won't get rescheduled. It'll just be a round off and then we'll start after the uh, winter break. Um, I think it's quite quite early on, maybe the 5th of January. So it's only in a couple of weeks anyway. So And then we'll just start again. Um, and that round will just be wiped off basically you don't you don't move or put up or down the leaderboard so but that's it i just wanted to explain what what were basically happening because i know a lot of you watch the uh, feeder master winter pairs through the winter time and you probably thought well, where's the next video where's the next video and a lot of you aren't on facebook and stuff like that so i just thought i'd just get to uh do a little bit of a video and just let you know what's happening so that's it we've uh it's been cancelled due to the cold weather snap and hopefully like i said it'll be back on in the 5th uh, 5th of january i think the next one is so i'll be putting the video up hopefully that week um and let you know what's happened so the next round will be the fourth and then there's two more rounds left after that and like i said me and alan need to get a sock pull of socks up um and get some fish caught and hopefully we can start moving up this leaderboard into the top 10 that's what they'll be paying out up to the top 10 like i said 30 30 teams of the best feeder anglers probably in the world um or in in england at least and uh, that's what it is so it's uh, a great competition and uh, hopefully we'll start moving up if not we're well, still going to enjoy the matches because everyone's like well at least you're enjoying it Dave and I'm like well sometimes when I'm fishing I'm not really enjoying it if I'm not catching up but when I look back at the video and I look back what we've what we've done um I still have a bit of a laugh with Alan and it's nice even though he's a bit of an idiot um it, we still do have a laugh so um and I just want to say a thank you massive thank you to everybody out there what supported me and I know that you you're raring us to get up that leaderboard but uh like I said it's cancelled this time but Thank you very much for watching the videos and thanks for everybody's support when they're sending us messages and uh, and stuff like that. It is much appreciated. So that's it. I just thought I'd let you know what's happening with the win uh, Feeder Master Winter Pairs this, uh, this round and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. So um, keep watching these ones. If I don't see you on the bank, I hope you have a great Christmas and a great New Year and we will see you soon. We will see you on the 5th of January on the next round of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs and me and Alan will hopefully start moving up that leaderboard. Thanks for watching, see you soon, Merry Christmas.
guys thanks for tuning on the video if you want to see more videos hit this awesome playlist down here make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member hit the join button thanks for watching the video guys we'll see you soon keep on bagging